Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is Environment Audit Rules 2025. First of all, let's see why this is in news. On 29th August 2025, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change introduced the Environment Audit Rules 2025. This marks a significant reform aimed at preventing environmental degradation and promoting sustainable development. Now, let's discuss the Environment Audit Rules 2025. The Environment Audit Rules 2025 are designed to fill the gaps in the current environmental compliance monitoring framework. These rules aim to strengthen the enforcement of existing laws like the Environment Protection Act 1986, the Forest Conservation Act 1980, the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, and the Green Credit Rules 2023. While there are regulatory bodies such as the Central Pollution Control Board, State Pollution Control Boards, and regional offices of MOE FCCC, their ability to monitor compliance across thousands of projects is limited due to resource constraints. To address these challenges, the Environment Audit Rules establish a robust framework to bridge the gaps in manpower and infrastructure, aiming to improve transparency and accountability in environmental monitoring. Now, let's talk about the key features of the Environment Audit Rules 2025. certification and registration of environmental auditors the rules require auditors to be certified and registered by the environment audit designated agency which will oversee the certification process and monitor auditors performance random assignment of auditors registered environment auditors will be randomly assigned to various projects ensuring impartial assessment of compliance scope of auditing REAs will be responsible for evaluating compliance including activities related to sampling analysis compensation calculation and waste management audits in alignment with the green credit rules and other environmental regulations Now lastly moving on to the expected outcomes of the initiative Strengthening environmental compliance The primary objective of the rules is to ensure third-party verification of environmental compliance, making the process more credible, measurable, and enforceable, aligning with emerging environmental frameworks. These rules are aligned with other environmental initiatives like the Green Credit Program and EcoMark certification, thus fostering an integrated approach to environmental governance. Enhancing regulatory capacity By creating a pool of trained and certified auditors, the government aims to share the burden of monitoring, allowing regulatory bodies to focus on high-risk areas, improving transparency, accountability, and ease of doing business. With the introduction of randomly assigned auditors, the government aims to eliminate conflicts of interest and foster trust in the compliance process, making business operations easier. Data-driven environmental governance. The systematic and digitized data provided by regular audits will support better decision making and enable proactive risk management by identifying non-compliance early which can help in timely corrective action. Now is the time for a practice question. Consider the following statements about Environment Audit Rules 2025. 1 The rules aim to strengthen the compliance monitoring of environmental laws by introducing third-party verification through certified auditors. 2. The rules include a mechanism for the random assignment of auditors to specific projects to ensure unbiased assessments. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.